All right guys, elephant ear season is over. I wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to overwinter your elephant ears. In particular, the Colocasia esculentas. Now I'm here in zone 6B outside of Philadelphia and I decided to grow mine in the ground here um, in an area that pretty much all the rainfall just kind of travels in this direction. It gets really nice, bright, sunny conditions. And with those two basic needs being met, they grow quite large. I fell in love with these plants back when I was living in Colombia, um, a different version of elephant ear out there, but they would get huge. They would get enormous. So I decided to bring some of the tropics here to my garden, but we have had our first frost or just about, and um, it is time to overwinter them. So the first thing that you wanna note is that it's really important to allow your plants to really reach that first frost because as the temperatures start to cool down in the autumn um, what happens is that the energy that is residing in the leaves and in the stems it starts to travel back down into the bulb um, so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to remove these old leaves put them off to the side. All right, so once we have all the foliage removed, we gotta make sure that we dig our bulb up without damaging it, because if we damage it, it's gonna be very hard to overwinter. So we wanna kind of create a visual circle, a circumference of around like eight to 12 inches around that stem, and that's gonna be the zone that we're going to dig up. Just keep kind of going around till you start to notice that you are lifting up that center stem. Okay, so look, you see these beautiful roots. This is huge, this is great. Now, once you have it kind of dug out, just start to gently remove as much of the sod and dirt as you possibly can. I'm definitely gonna re-add this sod back to that hole that we just dug up. So the best way I find is just nice, loose fingers, just kind of quickly, rapidly removing that soil to get to some chunks. Now, once you have it out of the ground, just like this, this looks pretty darn beautiful. Um, we're gonna cut more of these stems off. We just left them there, so we made sure that we were cutting in the appropriate, so that we were digging in the appropriate area. So you can see I cut off as much of that stem as really I, I really could. Um, and that leaves us this nice bulbous corm right here. Now from here, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go put this in my garage and let it dry for the next one to two weeks before we store them. We wanna make sure that as much of this um, mud kind of dries and then we can just kind of flake it away before we actually store it. So next step, put it somewhere dry, cool, maybe 50, 55 degrees is a pretty ideal um, conditions and we're just gonna let it dry. So Okay, it's been about a week since we dug up our elephant ears. I bleach my hair in the, in the interim. Now I just re finished removing as much of this excess mud as possible. Now you can see the bulb is nice and cured over on top, creating that nice uh, thick layer on top. So that will keep any moisture from getting um, infected or disease ridden over the winter time. Now, once you have your bulb, it's nice and dried out. You've removed all of that mud. You're gonna take a box of peat moss, just like this, an old box. You're gonna fill it with peat moss and you're just gonna cover it in that peat moss. Let it remain all winter long. You can even overwinter it with some other plants. Um, I have a box of, this is already has some callas in it, but if you are going to do that, make sure you did the callas or whatever other bulbs you're overwintering correctly, because if the callas have moisture, um, they will create they will cause problems for your elephant ears or vice versa. So um, definitely make sure. Now about once a month or once every six weeks, we'll come in here, we have our little spritzer and we'll go ahead and I'll just demonstrate on another elephant ear that I did. And we'll just give it a nice little spritz, just, just lightly and we'll plop it back in. And the next spring, we'll take them out, dig a hole, plant them back up again, and enjoy some more beautiful elephant ears in our gardens. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and short, sweet, to the point. 
and exactly what you're looking for. If not, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to respond to your comment in kind. Thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.